What's up, beat makers and music producers? I got a quick little mini tip here for you today. We've got plenty of plugins that come with Ableton, but how often do you use this one? Frequency shifter. Not many people talk about it as much, but there's some cool stuff you can do with it. I just want to show you one really fun thing here. So what I've got here, I'll just play the track I've got here in front of me. So I've just got a backing there, and this is the lead. Now let's try putting some frequency shifter on it, and let me show you something cool you can do here. Nice little change instead of just using a normal chorus or flanger or phaser. It's got a little bit of a different vibe to it. And most people don't stumble across this because it defaults to having the dry and wet on 100%. And like that, you won't hear anything. Well, I mean, you hear something, but not the same effect. It keeps warping the, the frequency so much that it's almost in, uh, not usable. But if you put it on 50-50, it starts to phase together with itself. Super fun when you hit in the wide mode too, and then it will spread. You're gonna need to hear this on headphones or something stereo, but it's going around my head right now. You can wind in some LFO as well, so it makes this move up and down. There you go, a little quick tip for you. Check out the frequency shifter. It's a bit of fun.